This is Be More Lifestyle. All right, welcome back. Stop trying to be perfect in every aspect of your life. Embracing your imperfections can go a long way. Eric Whitmire is back with us now to talk more about this. Hello, Eric, welcome back. Lady T, it's been forever. How you been? How's the family? I know, I feel like I haven't seen you in just a little <laughs> under 10 minutes. This is great. <laughs> All right, now talk to me. This sounds like a bad thing, but I know it's not. Tell us why. We all have imperfections, Lady T, right? So we become the society, this filter society, where we automatically try to hide these things that make us unique, as opposed to just accepting them and saying, you know what, this is who I am. It makes me who I am. So stop trying to put so much emphasis on the way you appear to everybody else, and just recognize that each person's different in their own way. A lot of people love imperfections. It's what makes us who we are. That's true. It makes you very unique, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now you have four tips to help us reclaim our lives. What are those? It starts with stopping the judging, okay? We're horrible at this. Mm -hmm. When we judge other people, we're constantly comparing ourselves to them. They have this, I don't have that. They want this, they got that. Meanwhile, that person's judging everybody else. Like there's never any internal inside out happiness. So instead of focusing so much on these exterior things that we try to cover up with filters, focus more internally and start to work on ourselves and finding happiness with nobody else determining that. Mm, okay, there's many of us out there like myself who think that I am perfect. Um, <laughs> is that just a confidence thing that we have? Like, what is that? Why do we... <laughs> and here's the thing about this lady, you probably heard that old quote, right? There's an old quote that says, once you fall in love mm -hmm. with somebody's mind, everything about that person becomes beautiful. Yes, that's true. In this day and age especially, we have to learn how to connect with people emotionally to understand that we're different. I have a flaw, you have a flaw. You know, I was mm -hmm. born with this ginormous head. We all have these flaws, but you know what? We recognize that we appreciate it, and then we're able to objectively view it and say, hey, I'm a cool person. So this is more about who I am as a person as opposed to how I look physically. It's true, it's true. Now, is there anything else you'd like to share with us about imperfections and how we can continue to improve on this? Yeah, we have to be kind to each other, Lady T. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, right? I mean, everybody gets so upset. We have to get off of the social media kick. We cannot find happiness unless we're getting clicks, right? There's mm -hmm. a chemical that our brain releases called dopamine. Dopamine is what happens when we have this pleasure, when we have this feeling of something really good happening. When we get those clicks, our brain releases dopamine. So a lot of people get addicted to that feeling, mm -hmm. which is why they're posting and clicking and posting and clicking and deleting a picture when they don't get enough likes. Find a way to be happy other than how many people put thumbs on your page. Oh, that's so true. Thank you, Eric for joining us today. Always, always great with the tips. We appreciate it. Lady T, you're the best. I'll All see right. you soon. See you.